Whoa. There again, whoa, whoa, Hugh, whoa is important. Yeah. You know, this thing ain't slinging his head up. Make it soft and smooth. He ain't got to be, you know, I don't, I don't like a horse because we use these horses a lot out of here, and you can tell in here it's yeah. not too bad. But you, we drive cattle down that asphalt road. You don't want it like slides. I mean, they get you hurt. Right. I don't want one that'll stop. I want one that'll tuck his butt under him and stop, but I don't right. want him like being a, right. a reining horse stop. Right, right. Uh, you know what? What I what I saw, Jeff, and, and like I said, don't you don't say, hey, Cleve, no, that wasn't it. You know, you got you got the wrong message if I did. But but like when you took this horse, when you took this horse and you and you sped him up, you, you, you made a definite difference. But but he accelerated. He he was climbing, and you didn't let him plateau, and you brought him back. So he, he he's learning to to go, 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 and come back. Where a rainer plateaus, and he practices that. Yeah. So, so you, you, you're, you, like you said, you came, you went up, and, get, and you do, all you gotta do is take that fear factor out, because y'all's maneuvers, unlike rainers, even though that, that, there's, a, there's a combination of every class in this, but a rainer, when he does something, he does it for a longer length of time. Yes. And he settles in. Pleasure horses settle in. A western rider settles in. You, these horses have to do all in less time than them other horses do one of those things. You, you, your, your, your uh, extended lope will either be around the corner, around the end of the arena, or down one side. That's as far as you're going to yeah. go. Yeah. You, that thing has got to be thinking like. I got to get back here. It's no different than if we was gathering cattle and you had one to break and you're, I mean, you got a hundred others over here and you got one cow that broke, you got 99 others. To, so yeah, you're going to speed up. She acts like she, I mean, you're going to rate that thing right back. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like wide open to, to right. the fence. You're either going right. to run, you know, and it's just like working cattle. You don't right. want one that you're going to run, cow run through, whatever. Right. That thing is, it's got to have an accelerator right. there. Right, right. That, that's what I guess I'm seeing is, you're not letting them is out here in your program. You're not letting them plateau as much no. as teaching them to no. get up there and no. come back. Just like just like when you went to the to the medium trot. I mean, I was kind of like, dang it. I mean, yeah. you you kind of went somewhere. Like, yeah. Like you know, and if that was me, that would excite me at first. Yeah. And and it does the horses probably. Yeah. But then they come back. You know, yeah. and they get over that the more you do it. Yeah, they they do. And, you know, and, and that's... the more you do that, the more you can practice it. Cause, cause and and. So that, that's kind of what I got from that was was you're practicing. There, there's a maneuver there, but it it's not like a transition of a lope or a no. trot. It, it has a little length to it, but like you said, don't wear your horse out trotting no. in two laps. No, no, there's there's no point in it. And there again, that's what makes it. A lot of people can do these transitions, mm -hmm. you know, like the speed up and slow down. So you don't have one that that spins like. Right. a top or you know that that's okay there's so many right. more just try to stay out of the penalty box right right you know right. but pl plus these maneuvers that you can do right. stay out of the penalty box on the others right. you're go you're going to be just day in day out you're going to be in the lead right and then